Hello, and in this screencast I want to show you a new feature in Apache ISIS, which is a framework for rapidly developing domain-driven applications in Java. And ISIS is actually an implementation of the naked objects pattern, and what that means is that the UI that we see, for example here, of a to-do object, a to-do application, is built directly from the domain object model. Um, so, if we look at the code, we can see that we have a bunch of properties here and collections, description, due date, category and so forth and a couple of collections down the bottom, dependencies and similar items and they correspond to the applications that we can see running here and there's no controllers or views uh, everything is generated from that domain object model but we can also see that uh, things are laid out um, to be somewhat sensible, we have a couple of property columns, the left and the right, the general and the misc groups, the detail group, and then we have um, on the right hand side these two collections. So the layout of that is, is determined by two annotations. We have the member group layout that defines uh, the layout of the groups of the members and collections, and then we also have associated with um, the properties, we have the, the member order group. If you look at version sequence, you can see that that's in the MISC group here, and um, there's only one um, property in that particular group. If we were to go to, uh, let's say, get description, then that's not doesn't name which group it's in, but uh, the default is general, and that's sequence one, which means it occurs first. And if you look at category, get to category, then that's sequence two, so that's laid out underneath. So those two annotations, member group layout and member order, is enough information for us to lay out uh, the page like this. Um, what else can I show you about this? Uh, there's one other thing to maybe point out. Um, you can see that here we have a couple of actions, uh, the done and the undo, and here we have a couple more actions, add and remove. And uh, if we look at how that is uh, done, again it's with the member order annotation. So this particular action that will add a dependency is associated with the dependencies collection and uh, in the case of the done, which I think is actually the completed action, which is rendered as done, uh, you can see that this particular uh, action is associated with the complete property. So that's why this appears over here. Okay, so as I say, member order and member group layout between them provides the information for us to lay out the page in this way. But if I want to change the layout, it's a bit frustrating because I've got to go through quite a, a long and involved um, sort of compile redeploy process. And it's the kind of thing that you'd really want to sit down with your business person and sort of just change it uh, dynamically. And so what we've done, the new feature, in which is in one, it's still in the snapshot in the trunk, it's a 130 snapshot, but we'll be releasing this in the next month or two. Is, is to anyway to allow this information to be written in a file alongside the uh, domain class and then it can be edited and picked up automatically. So you might have noticed there's a couple of um, grayed out buttons here. These are sort of uh, available for developers to call. So if I click on download layout, this is going to uh, generate a JSON file that basically has the, those same set of methods set of metadata and we'll have a quick look at it so we can see we have columns in here Let me just change this so I can fold it around this JSON file so we have columns we've got um, a column which is spanning of three and then we have another span of three and then we have an empty one and then we have a span of six and it's the same set of information basically but just laid out a little bit more easily. So what we're going to do with this file that I just downloaded from the system is we're going to plonk that into the appropriate directory so let's, let's um, let me just copy that. So let me go back to my IDE, I use Eclipse let me paste this into here and uh, do you know what, I think that will even be enough. Uh, the JSON file will take precedence over the annotations so um, all we need to do, he says, is press refresh layout. Actually, we need to press that uh, twice, in fact, <clears throat> for reasons I won't explain now. And we haven't changed the, the layout, so we're getting 
exactly the same information. But now what I should be able to do is go to this JSON file and start messing things around. So let's um, let's maybe move the version sequence up alongside his buddies here. So the misc uh, group is now empty. Let's save that. Let's uh, do a refresh layout. As I say, you need to press this button twice. So I'll uh, just do that one more time. Okay, great. And can you see versions now moved into the general group? Um, I don't quite like the layout here. I think I'd like to maybe uh, make the general com a bit sort of narrower. So let's sort of reduce the span on that. So let's say that's a, a two. That's a three. Um, using Bootstrap, there are twelve sort of regions, and so we might make this a bit bigger. Two and three and seven makes twelve. So we'll save that. We'll now go and do our refresh layout again. Press that twice. And okay, things have moved around a bit. Another thing that we can do is, if you want to, we can put the collections down at the bottom. So, um, what I mean by that is, let me change my JSON file one more time. If I said a span of six, say, and um, a span of six, and I'll leave the, the last column in there as empty, and then say 12. Um, what this should do, all being well, is it will say, well, those two property columns are going to take up the entire span, and so what we'll do is we'll overflow the collections, and they'll go underneath. So that's what we've got, in fact. Okay, so now I've, um, I'm using the JSON file, of course, um, I don't need those annotations in, in the code. And so if you actually go and check out the latest uh, snapshot of, of uh, ISIS and have a look at the to-do uh, example, then you'll find indeed I've got rid of all the member group layout and member order annotations, and we're just using the JSON. Um, one last thing to say, uh, you can download the layout individually. This is done through uh, the developer utilities service that's registered. Um, also, you can download all the layouts as a big zip file. So if you've got an existing application and you want to go through and um, sort of uh, change things, then you can just uh, take the zip file and uh, pull out all the JSON files and just um, knock yourself out. Uh, there are some in here that relate to services and so forth that don't apply, just ignore those and just pull out the ones that you do need. Okay, so I hope that was useful, and uh, do try out this new feature. Thanks. Bye-bye.